back to another Artifact Corner. Today we will be looking at an absolutely stunning umbrella. This piece likely dates to the early part of the 19th century. It is made from multiple materials. The canopy is made of silk, the shaft is made of wood, the ribs are made of steel, the handle is made of brass and ivory. The ferrule, or the tip of the umbrella, is also made of brass that has an engraved design on it. The handle has a name engraved in the ivory, Matthew Lane, who appears to hail from Troy, New York. We do not know who Matthew is, or why his umbrella ended up in our collections, but I'll talk about that more in a bit. First, let's learn a bit more about umbrellas. The English word umbrella comes from the Latin word umbrella, which traces its origins from the Latin word umbella, which is then derived from umbra. These Latin terms translate to shade or shadow. Like the word parasol, which is a combination of the French words para and sol, meaning shield from the sun. The umbrella was originally used to give oneself shade from the heat of the sun. Almost every ancient culture has umbrellas. Ancient Egyptians made umbrellas out of palm fronds, feathers, and stretched papyrus. In Mesopotamia, a similar picture is painted by artifacts from around the same period. Hindu culture assigns great importance to the umbrella with the Shatra, a symbol in Hinduism closely connected to divinity and fortune. China made use of umbrellas and parasols as protection from both the sun and the rain, but this practice was also confined to the upper classes. Women in both ancient Greece and Rome had parasols to protect them from the sun, but they were also a sought-after fashion accessory. Records of umbrellas in Europe's Middle Ages are extremely rare. Cloaks were oft-sighted instruments that medieval European people used to cover themselves when caught out in the rain. Umbrellas came back into fashion in Europe around the 16th century. They were mostly used by women until the mid to late 18th century when men started to adopt the practice of carrying one. So, who is Matthew Lane, and why do we have his umbrella? Well, property records indicate that a Matthew Lane was selling, leasing, and buying a lot of property in Rensselaer County and Clinton County, New York in the 1830s. So he seems to be a mover and shaker in the Albany area, as well as up in our neck of the woods. If our research is correct, Matthew Lane's father was a Revolutionary War veteran and a very prominent businessman in Troy from the late 1700s. So, Matthew and his family would have been well known in the area from the 1790s through the 1860s and 70s. In 1832, our Francis Henrietta Delord was being courted and then married prominent businessman and Albany resident Henry Webb. Did they connect at a party, perhaps? And he gifted them his umbrella on a rainy night? Did they somehow all meet in Plattsburgh at a social gathering? We simply have no record of it. So the umbrella's history is still shrouded in mystery. This umbrella is in good condition given its age and likely use. The silk is torn in some spots, most typically the wear spots on the piece, but the mechanical aspects still work. The handle, ribs, and shaft are all in good condition. This is a truly stunning piece, and we are so lucky to have it in our collections. Thanks so much for stopping by.